Welcome back guys, this is going to be part 3 of Opping on CT Side Dust 2. Going into it here, we're going to talk about picking mid. Uh, this, is, this video is going to be all about mid guys, so we'll do B. Actually, this is going to be a part 4 for this tutorial, so uh, stick around for that one as well. Going right into it, picking mid guys. One of the most important things about picking mid is that you're confident. Uh, you know, you're feeling confident when you're peaking mid because you don't want to die right off the bat and leave your team in a 4v5. You want to feel confident that you can outpick him. You know, maybe that you're feeling good with your shot. You're feeling confident. You can get this mid pick and then make it a 4v5 for your, your, your team. You know what I mean? So going right into it here, uh, you want to make sure that your team is smoking mid correctly to cross. You don't want them smoking like this so that it blocks your chances to pick mid. Uh, you want to make sure if they do smoke the cross, they're smoking just right off that box there, right? I recommend. They can run through it or run behind it, while at the same time, you can still pick in front of the smoke. Obviously, this one won't be here. And still go for the, that aggression pick, maybe get some information, make sure they're not fast catting on you down this alleyway. And then, yeah. But besides that, um, picking mid's really about knowing the angle and shooting your enemy faster than they can shoot you. That, that really is the key to picking mid is uh shooting you know killing them faster but honestly like that is the biggest thing and the biggest thing about helping you do that is having great crosshair placements that you're doing the least amount of adjusting as possible so that you can react faster so when you're coming out here you need to know these angles but like the back of your hand so when you're coming out here you don't want to be aiming too low so when you swing out here you know you have to do adjusting like you don't want to be aiming too low you need to know that uh, well, here are the f common angles. That spot, that spot, and that spot. So when you're coming out here, uh, you might want to even just like uh, quick peek that angle, quick peek that angle, angle, and if he happens to be there, that's just going to be a shot that you have to flick to. Um, yeah, you don't want to be aiming too high and come here. You know, let's say you come here and then you're aiming too high like this, and you oh, then I got to do an adjustment and boom. Instead, you want to just come out here. Oh, just random jump. Come out here and then boom. Already be your crosshair is already there, so if he is there, boom, you click, you react super fast, you can kill him. So that's really the big thing about picking mid, guys. Another quick tip is to peek as fast as you can after the enemy opera shoots. So if your teammates are not not smoking the cross and it's it's been okay for them, they haven't been getting shot. Uh, usually the opera will definitely take a shot after the second person jumping, but sometimes even after the first person jumps, uh, the opera will take a shot. And then as soon as he takes a shot, you want to try peeking out and capitalize on him when he can't shoot you back. So a lot of the times you'll have two teammates cross, and you know he's more likely to shoot at the second one if he's going for a wall bang. And then as soon as he shoots at the second guy, just go out and try killing him while he can't shoot you back. And that's usually a pretty good tip if he likes to shoot the guys that are crossing. Going into another part here, it, it is helpful if your teammate can cr call where he, the opera is sitting at. So if he calls, goes across, said, "Oh, he's left hand side. He's not very left hand side for this example, but uh, that's some crucial information that could be used for the opera and become very you know, useful for myself sometimes." Uh, another thing I like to do to pick mid safely, if you don't want to, you know, just straight up peek it, is to double zoom, jump across, see where he was, and then try taking a shot at him. At him through the doors, um, so a lot of time I can you know at least get a body shot, do like 70 some damage, or if I'm lucky I can get a headshot and kill him through the doors here. Uh, so let's just say I, I jump across here. Oh, this is where I think he is. So if I do that, yep, I would get that shot there and be able to get some damage on him. Obviously he's already low there, but that's just something I like to do if I'm you know trying to pick mid, trying to do some damage possibly kill him, but also be safe at the same time, because I don't want to die. Um, if there's no one opping middle, what I'll do is opt into lower B. So let's say I, I straight up pick middle here, no one's peeking, I'm like, okay, no one's peeking, I'm going to go ahead and set up right here and try getting an entry kill here for my team. You know, I'll take a shot here, boom, and then fall off, and you know, then my team will have the advantage. So that's really good to do as well. Um, if you know they like to go fast tree a lot, instead of, you know, pick after you get done picking mid, you just want to post up on this uh, this angle right here. This is also a good one. Uh, maybe you can get someone crossing that uh, is not aware that you could be opting here, and then then it's a free kill. Um, so yeah, you can either opt that that tree up there or the lower B right there and try getting an entry as well. 
I don't recommend staying here for too long though, because you gotta be aware that if you're upping that for too long, a guy could come here and then shoot you from below or behind Xbox, and then it becomes a lot of different angles that you have to try to hit, especially if you're double zoomed in and someone peeks you. You kinda have to double single zoom now, and then uh you just have a lot of angles that you have to cover. Some guy going behind that box, some guy coming close, some guy being far. So we'll talk about uh Opping after it's been, you know, 20 30 seconds into the round. Um, a lot of times they will just smoke mid, but you can't actually see over it quite well if you back up all the way to the back wall here. Uh, you can see people going up cat. You can't see them jumping on Xbox, but you can see people just still running up cat here. A lot of times they will throw some flashes as well. So if you can kind of, if you could see those, um, you want to make sure that you're turning around, flicking back, and then killing someone that's trying to go up cat with that flashbang. So, uh, definitely try to see over top this smoke. I've gotten a lot of kills like that. Um, you can even see the tree cross still like this. Uh, I usually just put my cross there, like way over here to react to someone crossing. And try getting that shot. Um, I'll show you a little bit, another angle I like to hold if it's late round. Like I said, holding like this angle late round is kind of risky because there's this angle, that angle, and this angle where they could peek you from. So a lot of times I'll come back here and play this more of an off angle. And then uh, I'll get a guy jump up, jumping up on Xbox here. Possibly see a guy creeping out mid. Or get a guy go going up cat. And usually this angle is kind of a weird one. So all their, you know, the, their guards are usually let down. One thing you don't really want to do is post up for too long. Because if the opera does know it's a common spot for you. Let's say you, you, know, you do it a couple times so the opera is kind of aware of it. Uh, if he is good, he will see your arm before you see him. So I recommend. Um, I mean, you could you could probably post up the first time you hold this angle, and then if he happens to catch you, you know, be aware of it in the future. But uh, I recommend just you know tucking out, uh, not peeking it, and then every once in a while just uh, just throwing down a little peek here, tucking back in, and then peeking again. Uh, another good thing, just like the bait setup we set up at long. Uh, while you're holding this crack here, I don't know why I still have that on. Um, while you're setting up here along A, while your teammate walked in like this, nice little bait setup. You can do that here as well. We call this crab crab attack on my team. So if you're opting here at mid tree, trying to go for some picks, it's really good to have a teammate here with an M4. So if they flash you, let's say a, an enemy flashed you from back here, and an so a guy comes out here, tries chasing you opping mid, thinking you're blind. Your teammate's going to cover your ass here and just shoot this guy in the side of the head. So that's why it's called like a trap. You know, you kind of want them to chase you out mid. Um, just because you have a teammate sitting there with a nice little bait action going on from yourself. So that's another thing to do as well to set up. Uh, trying to make some kills happen here. Alright, two more quick tips here or tendencies or things that I like to do when opping mid. Is uh, you can actually flash peek mid. So if you give it some power and barely try to get over the door nice and low so that, so that it flashes them. You can flash them and then peek them, you know, and possibly get them blind trying to run away. Or, you know, if you saw him barely escape up there, then you could just post up here and wait for him to re-peek you. And then you should have the that uh that advantage knowing that you know exactly where he's going to re-peek you at. And you should be able to out-react him there. So that's one thing you can do to, you know, try posting up and have him peek you there. Um, another thing, too, a lot of people will run down fast cat here and then they're going to lean towards the green box over here like this and a lot of times if you're playing just a nice little passive angle here I'll hold right here just like this and sometimes I'll get people just you know trying to rush down mid fast and they'll just run right into my crosshair so I'll hold this for like 10 seconds or so and if no one runs into my crosshair I'll jump across you know go for the little wall bang shot and then I'll just post up on tree like that so that's just another little thing that I like to do Instead of just straight up peeking mid, I'll hold for a nice passive angle of someone trying to rush that green box. No one's doing that. Okay, I'll swing across. No one's peeking. Then I'll hold the tree for a bit. And then after I'll hold the tree for a bit, you know, I'm going to go into a more uh, a passive setup. I, may, I might go, if there's a two people in B, I might just hold this angle right here. This is actually really good to do as well. Um, usually you can get a guy just walking across this. Um, anything that you can try making... Try making it 4v5 for your team is always awesome. Um, this is an easy shot to hit. It's just a nice reaction shot, and it's easy uh, to escape from and you know be safe. 
then you can just go back to opping a ramp like in the other tutorials so guys if you are going to stay around mid and try getting some picks uh, I would recommend that you have two people near B and then yourself at middle just because uh, if you are staying mid here let's say no one's picking mid and then you set up right here for this lower B pick you're kind of far away to help your teammate uh, if there's only one in B and he can get overwhelmed overwhelmed pretty fast and then without any backup you know you're gonna lose the site pretty easily so if you are gonna like pick tree here I always call this tree because of source but if you're gonna you know pick the mid here pick in the lower B I'd recommend that you have two people going into B guys uh, and we will talk about being the second guy at B in the next uh, part four here we'll talk about opping B and being that second teammate at B so uh, we'll go over opping back plat things that you can do from window to help uh, you know and a bunch of different things for even holding mid to B from inside of B and that should be it guys thanks for watching